Hi, my name is Chris Wadsworth and I'm going to be applying for the spring internship there at UCLA. Um, some of the reasons I think I would be good for it is I'm extremely passionate about helping athletes. I grew up in athletics and had a lot of experience with it. Um, so I'm very passionate about helping athletes get strong, getting them ready to perform. Um, I love to learn. This is one of my, my favorite fields in learning about the body and movement and how everything works. Um, I have had a lot of knee surgeries and, and that really helps fuel me to help prevent athletes from getting into that position. I don't want to have athletes get into the position where they have to have knee surgeries or back injuries or anything like that. Um, so there's just some reasons why I think I would be great for this, uh, this position. Uh, my family lives in Los Angeles, so I can devote a lot of time to it. It will be my sole focus and my only focus um, for me to be able to be the best I can be and progress in the field. All right, now I'm going to discuss some of the progressions and regressions for teaching the deadlift. Um, some things I like to use, I like to start people off with a kettlebell. It gets them in the right technique. You have that counterbalance so they're not completely rounded back or over the bar. So a kettlebell is a good way to really teach proper technique and the movement of a deadlift. Um, you can progress the weight with a kettlebell, but at some point um, you can only go so far. So from there I like to go to a trap bar deadlift with a high handle. Um, that really gets them in a, a, that lower position. Um, the, the weight is distributed all around them so it's not in the front. It can be a little bit uh, easier to, to get into that position. Um, once that gets easier and you can load it higher, I like to go a low handle trap bar deadlift. That really gets the hips in a lower position and it's more similar to a barbell. Um, and keep loading that up and then from there I like to use the barbell. Once we get to the barbell you kind of want to take the weight off because you can't load it as much. The bar, the, the weight is in a different position on the barbell. It's more front loaded so you have that counterbalance rather than around you like in a trap bar. Um, for, for regression and for, for taking it back, uh, if, somebody, if it hurts their back or somebody can't do a barbell deadlift, I like to go back to high handle trap bar. Um, if that still hurts their back, you can go off the blocks, it's a little bit higher position, or from there, you can even do uh, barbell glute thrust, because with barbell glute or hip thrust, you still get that glute activation, you still get that extension that we want in the deadlift. Uh, so those are some things that I like to do just to progress and regress athletes um, with a deadlift. Um, I thank you for watching this video and taking the time. I really hope to be able to work with you guys at UCLA. Uh, thank you so much.